about to leave already packing come with me i'm not hello friends and enemies and welcome back to happy for now and i'm going to just quickly intro today's video which is one i already talked about in a previous video and i hope you're excited this is me going through my digital reading journal this is a little collab with tamika from library of tomes my booktube bestie slash little sister uh she and I both got iPads close to the same time earlier this year and have been making reading journals in them and really enjoying the process. I've shown snippets of my reading journal in vlogs and other places and people have asked. So I just kind of wanted to continue. I just wanted to continue the journey of kind of talking about how I plan and what I do. I will say that I previously, this is not the same size, I'll show you in a little bit, but when we switched to my iPad, I was using an Archer and Olive reading journal and I'll show you a little snippet of that before we dive into why I switched to digital. But I wanted to intro this, I hope you enjoy and we're gonna go cut to my hands doing things with my iPad and I'll answer your questions there as far as what apps I use and all that fun stuff. So I used to use this Archer and Olive, which I love. It is a very, very thick paper though, so be warned that that's something you want and like. I personally do. Um, so yeah, I started this in June 2020 this year, and um, I quickly, promptly have piles of blank pages because here's the issue. I've read, uh, when I started this, I was at 164 books. I currently have read over 270 books this year, and this is just a lot to track. I was writing little notes. I had my arc list for like July, you know, a July, TBR, there was um, a readathon, and I cannot remember which one, the uh, pop culture readathon. So, you know, I did 20 books for summer, tracking general days, and I really like this. I really do like a physical notebook for tracking my reading journal stuff, but again, as I get behind in it, it becomes increasingly impossible to update because I read too much. So I switched to this. So this is my iPad. I use two apps, very, let me get this thing to switch. There we go. I use two apps specifically, which is Procreate, which is right here where I make a lot of things like thumbnails, art for my, my bookish journal and those items. And then this is GoodNotes. GoodNotes is my app of choice. So obviously this just ended, so I have that tab open. We're gonna go to the front of my journal and we're gonna start there. So I made a cover, just says 2020 bookish stuff. Nothing, nothing too wild to be honest with you. Then I have a blank page. Then I wrote 2020 content. Again, I got this in August. I've been tracking subscriber count, which actually that's a little, whatever. Anyways, I've been tracking milestones. As you can see, um, I didn't think I would be where I am right now in any capacity, but it's still really exciting to see my channel grow. I love coloring in every 25-ish subscribers. I don't always remember to do it on time, but then I have my calendar. Um, I thought I was gonna track some stuff here, like around how many videos, views, and subscribers, but actually I keep a lot of that in my spreadsheet. And then the next month I thought, well, Let's put our thumbnails here because I like seeing the thumbnails. I work really hard on my thumbnails. I'm constantly evolving them. So I think it's fun to just see them all spread out and to see what videos I put out that month. Same thing in October. Um, I've got to grab that thumbnail still. But yeah, we've got Thumbnail City right here. Again, just showing myself what I'm doing. And then same thing for thumbnails this week. I need to, I need to add my one for Saturday or last Sunday right here. Um, but you know, it's just nice to know what's going on. These calendars I'm using are from a Patreon I'm part of called Fuji B. I can link it down below for you if you're interested in joining. Then I had like some video ideas. Um, I was planning my December, January videos. Again, some blank pages. Then I have readathons. So Scallywagathon was the first readathon when I had this new iPad. Summerween. I did some readings here, but I didn't finish them. Again, I'm still figuring this out. Becca's bookopoly a -thon. Here's Kindle Clear Out. I, this is an extra book I read that wasn't on the TBR. Then we have the Paranormal Romance Read-a-thon, all the books I read for that. And then Love in the Night, which just started, so there's nothing here. Then I have my backlist journey. So this is where I'm tracking authors and series. I don't know what to call it besides this. 
Um, again, just playing with different font tools, like different pens. So first we have Miss Bev's backlist. These are, these are sections that will transfer into my 2021 journal. So I have every book Miss Bev has published and I have rated each one I've read, almost. I need to come back and rate Destiny's Embrace and Destiny's Surrender because I've read all these. So I'm trying to read all of her backlist, um, her historicals, and then I have her non-historical backlist. I'm not gonna read the corner of hope and something. And then I have my Black Tiger Brotherhood page, which I have never come back to. So I don't know, I still can't decide if I wanna finish that series or continue it. Kate Daniels, uh, which I actually need to update. No, I did update it because I'm now on book four. I, I wanna find some papers and stuff to make this prettier. And then Hidden Legacy, a favorite series. I really, really can't re wait to read Emerald Blaze at some point. Um, I grabbed the graphics from the summer of Sarah McLean because I want to go back through and read her whole library backlist. Uh, and then I did started doing Faded Mates pages. So each episode, not each, a lot of episodes cover a book. So these are all the ones I've read. I did skip Shadow's Seduction because I don't like to read uh, men, men romance, men loving men romance written by women. Um, it's just not my thing. And that one apparently wasn't that good. So then here is season two. Uh, books that bled at us what I've read so far and then uh, The continuation of that and then we've got season three back on our bullshit or boob and I need to update this but what I've read from that then we are going to go into my 2020 reads. I used an app called magic eraser to erase backgrounds on my bitmojis you could also probably use procreate honestly and um, made my bitmojis into this. So I have my reading goals. This is 200 books. Um, this is 250. So when I finished the 200, I shrunk it down and moved it over here and started all over again. <laughs> and then here is every book I have read this year. What I did when I got this, I wasn't going to go back through and re-rate everything and like create that, that setup. So instead I just put all the covers in. So as I go through this, one of the reasons I really made the switch to digital was the ease of adding book covers and tracking things. So you'll notice here that I started adding character names because when I do my videos, I don't always remember character names. Um, and then I counted what book it was. I may have made some notes depending on where I was, what the book was. Um, you know, it's a good time. And then here was my September priorities because I had a lot of books I wanted to read in September because of, I had a vlog, I had two vlogs, and then I had a Halloween vlog I wanted to do, which all of these happened. So I wanted to make sure I tracked these. This is literally hanging out here so I could grab it and copy and paste it onto the books. Um, and then we get into that. So I just started, again, tracking things, writing down names of characters and notes as needed. If I was vlogging the book, I didn't necessarily write down their names. Um, I don't know why I just didn't. And then like this I DNF'd and I put why, um, you know, why I didn't like, uh, you deserve each other and like skeleton King, stuff like that. Again, it was just a varying degrees of notes on each book. It really, really, really depended on how strongly I felt about it or didn't like it. Um, same thing here. And then we have September, so the last book I read in September, and then I wrote down my stats. So when I did my wrap up, it was very easy to see them. I don't do anything complicated in here as far as stats go because I have Brock from Let's Read's spreadsheet that I use, and honestly, that does everything I need, truly. And then I made myself like a cute little intro page for October, and I started slash continued this setup, which I do have for September, it's just further back in the book because I thought I was gonna use the same journal for planning. So I mark off the days I read. So we go now again into October. And then like these three books are the same character. So I only wrote it for one. Um, yeah, same thing here, right? Like started noting mangas as I was reading them and other things. Um, what else? Uh, you know, solutions and other problems. Again, mangas, I kind of condensed these all into one section because I'd read so many more <laughs> fun times and like i said it just it's a really it varies a lot for me on what i end up doing 
Uh, so the main reason, like I said, I switched is it's easier for me to track here. I'm, it's easier for me to put on an audiobook and do this. It also hurts my hand less. Um, I do get really bad carpal tunnel if I do too much on in my notebooks. So same thing, finish up the month, our ratings, and then stats. So in November, I decided to implement listing out what arcs I have because I have been very behind this year. I will not lie to you. And then my readathon. So here we have my pages, which I haven't updated yet. It's today is the ninth that I'm filming this and I need to color them all in. Um, same thing, just continue to track. I need to come back and write down some names of characters for myself and then I'll just keep doing that. So that's really it. I know this is like probably really long, but I wanted to show you where I'm at, what I've been doing. Um, see here you can see like September or this is my like template I made you know September I thought I was going to use this more like a um, planner in one notebook so I did a lot of stuff with that but honestly um, I really like my regular planner as a notebook notebook and I'm going to stick with that and then this is just going to be reading stuff because I want to I want the flexibility to do more in my reading journal and to erase things. And then I've got my 2020 bookish one kind of started, but we'll come back and do a flip through. I also made a sticker book for myself where I have like bookish stickers. Hold on, let's see if it works. So I have like star ratings, I have days of the week. I have all kinds of stuff just kind of saved in here for myself. Here, I'll show you. Um, to use as needed, you know, I have, this is the, one of the Patreons I'm a part of, which is called Plant Mail. They give you uh, art monthly and I put all the art in here and I use it and my book journal and I really 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 like that um it's definitely nice and it's easy to do um like I said I just kind of used a um, notebook I bought off of Etsy which I will link to you below I think it's from P Proud Marlin something like that it's a nice just dot bullet journal notebook this is literally the template it comes with all the months, you know, it's already linked up so you can do the thing where like you click and it takes you, I think. Okay, well, maybe not. Yeah, so you can click and it'll like take you to pages. I've kept this really simple. Um, let me know if you have questions. I think I answered everyone's questions. I'm gonna double check myself. Uh, I definitely think if you already have an iPad, I would look into if it's compatible with GoodNotes and the Apple Pencil setup to do this. Um, Again, I really made the switch to have the ease of use and also not be running through as much paper and other things because to print all these covers, which is what I want to do at the end of the day in a journal, is a lot of paper. And I am also able to use my iPad for a lot of other stuff, so that's nice, but yeah. All right, let me know in the comments if you have questions and I'm gonna throw it back to me in front of the camera. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching. If you made it this far in the video, drop a is there a stationary notebook? Like a stationary notebook, a composition notebook emoji? I need to go check. All right, if you can get the composition notebook emoji down there, drop that in the comments if you made it this far. Thanks so much for hanging out. I will have links to everything I talked about or written out what I talked about in the description box down below for you. I will also have links to all of my social medias. So you can find me on Goodreads, Instagram, and Twitter. You could also find a link to the Discord server where a bunch of romance YouTubers hang out and viewers slash readers also hang out. We talk about books a lot, readathon threads are going on there, etc. Um, what else? If you aren't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more romance content three days a week. And yeah, I will see y'all later. Bye. Really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't